Hi, I'm Reese from happyocappy.ca. I get asked a lot about the zippers that I make and put in my purses because I often custom make them for size and color um, depending on the bag that I'm using. And so today I'm gonna share what I do. There's a few different places to get zipper tape by the yard. You can visit my website for where I get mine. Um, you can get them in all different colors. Um, I'm just gonna use black today. And you can also get holes um, individually as well. So just to show uh, what I'm making today, I'll do black tape with, let's say, a fuchsia pull. So you start with your zipper tape and just pull the end a little bit. It doesn't really matter how far you go. I just do about an inch. And then take your scissors, just regular scissors, not your fabric scissors and cut about a quarter of an inch off of one side. So it should look like this. Um, then you take your pole, and your pole has two sides to it. Um, you wanna take the, the kind of rounded edge and put that down. And we're gonna start by putting one half of the zipper tape through one side of the zipper pull. Zip it down so that it matches the other side of the tape. This part takes a bit of practice, but yeah, it really isn't hard. You just kind of have to get used to it. And it's a lot easier when you're not being filmed. <laughs> and once you get the um, shorter side on, you want to kind of take both ends of the tape so that you're pinching it with one hand and then you take your zipper pull and you simply pull down like you're zipping up a zipper and then it's on. That's it. You just cut your zipper to whatever length you want and you're good to go. Now another thing I wanted to show is uh, a zipper with a double pull, which isn't necessary, but it can be really nice. It's a nice feature on certain bags and they're really expensive if you buy them in the store. So it's, you're basically just doing the same thing, but you're putting your pull on from the other end. You separate the zipper a little bit, you make one end shorter, And then again, you want to start on the longer end, one side of the pole, and zip down, feed the other side through, make sure it's nice and even. Pinch both ends of the tape between your thumb and forefinger on your dominant hand makes it easier. And then just zip down. And now you've got your double pole on the same zipper you want to come and have them meet in the middle and then so from there it'll open out that way and you've got your double pull zipper for more tips and tricks you can visit me at happyocappy.ca thank you